Welcome to the after party for the Indian Pro Music League. Check out these lovely people. Next to me is Radhika and Archana as well. You remember us from that TV show that we were speaking about all those weeks ago. What, and this is bonkers. Let me just recap for everybody. There's a TV show. It's on ZTV. It's called Indian Pro Music League. After every uh, weekend of these shows, we like to get together and discuss all the action, discuss the songs. Uh, and for the first time in a long time, we suddenly got celebrity and we got music and it was live music on the telly because we're all in lockdown. And then, ah, India hit lockdown uh, and the series got paused for a bit, but it's all picked up. We've been following the action. I'm going to catch up with the ladies uh, right now and find out uh, how... Well, actually, no, before we get into the game, my voice is going, look, you can hear, because I've been sh screaming and shouting a little bit this weekend. It's been a bonkers weekend. Yes, the IPML show was on ZTV. We'll talk about it in a moment. Uh, but it's also a busy weekend for sport. Uh, did you watch it both? Radhika, did you watch, did you watch the whole weekend of sport? The tennis and the football? Um, no. I watched the oh. football, though. Look, I'm, still, I'm wearing red, loyal to, to our... Country. I watched the football. <laughs> yeah, okay. And I watched the penalties. That's the most watched... part of the game. Can, can you notice, Archana? Can you notice what, what happened there with, with Radhika? Yeah, I watched it. Well, I, well, I watched some of it. Uh, well, I watched the penalties. Well, I caught the highlights. It's kind of slowly dwindling down, Radhika. You're slowly bailing out. Archana, yeah. did you watch it? I watched all of it, yes. yes. Well done. How could I miss it? Right, let's get on to the action then. Let's get on to uh, what we saw in yesterday's IPML show. In fact, what we've been seeing recently, Radhika. Um, it's been a great weekend. Uh, we have now uh, Bengal, Punjab, Gujarat and Mumbai in Gujarat our Rockets. semi-final. Something, you know, an, an amazing performance to watch. Something that we've getting quite used to watching these amazing performances week on week. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, it's been wonderful to see all of these artists just grow on this platform. And, you know, you I mean, mean physically, phys physically growing physically as well. Because lockdown, lockdown affects people in different ways. Some people go for the ears, some people are on the treadmill. So you're saying, who are you saying that's put on weight then, Radhika? What are you? Um, oh, you're not. You're not. You're no, I'm about... not saying that. I'm saying talent wise. We're getting of course a you lot. Are. The exposure has been phenomenal for these guys. And I think we've got to really celebrate the new artists that we didn't know before, like Hammond, Large. Obviously, I want to talk about Gujarat Rockers. Archana, if you want to talk about <laughs> any of the others. No. Archana, no, Shay, but... Delhi didn't make it. Oh, uh, yeah, no. I was so gutted. I was like, Delhi, where have you gone? But yeah, but I think I'm still rooting for you know, both the West Bengal team and obviously for Punjab team as well. They both No, you've got to choose one now. That's no, it. Like, she doesn't have I've to. I've lost the England match. I need to have two to like, you know, be able to make sure that my team wins one way or the other. All right. This, this is what it is. Archana, Archana is now, if in the nicest possible Archana, you're a professional loser. So she's <laughs> used to the feeling of listening. So she's like, hang on a minute. I think it works best if I hedge my bets a little bit here. So she's splitting, yeah, splitting her rods yeah. a little bit. But you're right. Actually, I want to just pick up on that, rather. Those, those performances from some of those, let's call them the youngsters or the newbies yeah. or the names that we didn't know, not necessarily household names. Yeah, you know, personally, we've heard of your Akrathis and your Mikkas and your Shans and, uh, and Javadeli's all that experience. Yeah. But that young blood, it's incredible. I mean, Hemant is such a powerhouse of a vocalist. He's such a joy to listen to. And I have to talk about this weekend specifically. I was amazed by Heman and Ritu Raj's Sada Huck Etera. It was yeah. on fire, epic. Like the way that they sang that and brought the stage alight. I think even Javed was really, really impressed with the way they just made it theirs and, you know, sung their hearts out. Totally owned that song completely. It, I was really no, impressed. you're right. And, um, and it's just when the two vocals come together and, they, and they're working it together and it's kind of flicking back and forward. And actually, we've seen, talking about how they've grown over the series, we've seen sometimes when you get a pairing of singers, they mess each other up, they can trip each other up, they can sing the wrong bit and they, you see them sort of give half a little look and try and carry on. But those two really work well. I thought they, put yeah. in, they put in time. Maybe it's lockdown. Indian lockdown means that, well, what else are we going to do? We might as well practice for the show. We're not performing. We're not doing live gigs. So they're probably uh, <laughs> spending a lot more time on IPML, which is great. Uh, great for us. But if you have never seen the show, I want to quickly just say this. Um, you've, you know, effectively got all these teams from different regions competing, but what you get is a jukebox of great songs. What you get is a jukebox of live music being sung. Um, 
and it's just lovely and warm and happy and reminiscent. Uh, and there was lots of tell lovely. Me, tell me, you can make that. On. You can make that a Bollywood night if you think about it. You got Natch, Ghana, music. You just need to order the food, and that night is yours. If that's, I, I imagine Bollywood night. I, but I imagine in your house, Radhika, most nights are Bollywood night. <laughs> Cause and you know what at the beginning when you said the singing you forgot the notch gun a bit I was going to tell you <laughs> well it's you everything you do is all dancey dancey uh, Arjuna tell me what you saw this weekend big semi final weekend uh, like I said your team not not taking part anymore but what stood out for you I think for me the tribute to Dilip Kumar obviously was heartwarming all mm -hmm. those singers coming together and giving tribute to one of the biggest. Uh, personalities we've had in Indian cinema is amazing. I mean, I I'm a I was a kid when he like you know I've I've watched all the Lip Kumar movies I would say and yeah it was amazing. Also, I think the Mitwa act with Mishni Bose. I mean, from all the newcomers, I think Mishni Bose is my favorite. I've heard that you know the Jugal Bandi she did earlier was awesome as well. So for me, she is the star highlight of one of the newcomers that I've seen that come came through as well. So those two performances really stood out. Okay, and I know Radhika. Also, um, having said that, all of the weekend's couples that sang together, they all really worked well with each other. Aziz, um, you know, that she sang that, oh, what's that Punjabi song? I've forgotten the name. Mahive? Yes, Mahive. They sang that. So the chemistry was so nice. And, you know, we just talked about Ritu Raj and uh, Heman. Uh, all of them, they were just perfect. I yeah. don't know if you can say that. But you're right, you're right. Absolutely right. And the Punjab side as well, I've got to just mention them when they did um when Mika came out and did uh, Muskalander. And mm -hmm. um and it was just I mean that song does it for me anyway. I've all, I love his version of it that he's done with who's he done it? It's, it's Honey Singh. Uh Mika and Honey Singh have done it. But that on stage is just it just takes you somewhere else, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, this it's him. And Mika, for all his character and all his, you know, jokiness and his, you know, big personality, you know, he really brought, I think he just brings that vocal uh, to life. So lovely performance from them as well. Great, great stuff. And I'm glad, glad you kind of loved all that. But if, if we can take this moment to look back at the entire series, I know it's hard because there's so many songs, you know, imagine in each hour-ish show, we get 10 songs performed to us. Um, so lots to remember, lots to think about. But is there something that pops out in your mind, Arjuna, when you think back to the series, something that, you, that stands out? Yeah, I think I've, I've said this before as well, but for me, the acts that Shan's team has put together were always really good. And that's why they're all, like you can just quickly recall those. And the one that stood out to me is this 90s parody they did. In fact, I've got all the songs listed and I was, I've created my own playlist and my husband's like, okay, so you are now into 90s song again. I'm like, yeah, he's brought that back for me from like Loveology, and, you know, all, all the other songs that he's done, it's amazing. So, yeah, old music that's coming back and his performances always are the ones that I like. So that's it. So that, in that respect, you've then, you've then put your eggs into the Bengal basket. You've then saying, because you're saying it's Team Sean, it's Akriti, it's that gang for, for igniting the, the, the 90s passion in you. They, do they get your vote? Would they get yeah, definitely. Vote? They would get my vote. I think it's a, it's a great package team and they've got some really good performers in there. All right, right. Are they, they going to win though? Are they going to win? Let's see. You want me to now hedge my bets on that? You're still sitting on the fence. Come on, Archana. You got to make a call here. Who do you think is going to win? Now that your team's out, you got to pick. Uh, we'll we'll come back to that at the end, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll get we'll get our last predictions. What are you saying though? As your stand-up moment, it doesn't have to be your team, rather. It might be. No, no, but just no. Something, I think something that moved you. Yeah, I think throughout, it's been really nice how they've focused on families. And, you know, they brought family members on the stage. I was really emotional when I saw Rupali's uh, father come onto the stage. Um, and, you know, she talked about her hardship, how she actually got there. And I think till now, I've seen everyone started off really poor, I come from a poor background and, you know, they've had a hard time. But with Rupali, it was the other way around. She had come from a high uh, class, rich uh, background and, and it all went downhill for them. And now she's built that back up again. And she's been able to, you know, buy her family home back. And it was really, really just, it was nice to hear that, you know, the reality of these um, artists' lives, because it does happen to all of yeah. us. 
Yeah, yeah no, um, you're right. You, you, on that note, I think she even touched on the fact that she said at one point, and she said it all, she goes, we had it all with the house, you know, drivers, you know, cooks, all, all that. She goes, and then she goes, there was a point where she had to think about whether she could afford to buy a biscuit at school for five, oh, rupees. five rupees. And then boom, that hits you and the dad's there and the dad's crying. And she's, and did you see what she did? She held her dad's arm like, listen, don't, don't you get too upset by this now yeah. because I know we're gonna, I'm gonna, you know, and then she's in tears and they're both reliving probably what was the toughest time for their life, of their lives, yeah. It's so brave to, to be able to talk about that as well. Like, you know, it's great for people to talk about the progress from not having something to, to getting it all, but to actually talk about how you had everything and lost everything and now you're working your way back up, you know, I, hats off to her. And I yeah. think it's, uh, that, like I said, it's the, the reality of it is real. And um, it's just nice for us to be able to connect with these people like this. Yeah. And on a performance level, then, what stood out for the, oh. uh, for the, for the whole series? Uh, uh, Rapali is like one of my favourites. Oh, okay. All of her yeah. solos, all those kind of songs, I was like, you know, getting my groove on. Um, <laughs> she's really taken a lot of these songs, which are tough songs, Mm -hmm. made them her own, put her own swag in there, the dancing as well, uh, that's important to me, you know, and um, I think I really enjoy the way that these artists have just, like, sh given us something different to watch, not yeah. just new, your usual sing-along show. Um, yeah. And the group, the teamwork, you know, the way they support each other. I, I, in the middle, we had a bit of, you know, hardcore banter where it was getting a bit like, oh, um, you know, he shouldn't have said that and she shouldn't have said, but now it's, I think they're all a proper big family. It's been really nice to see the togetherness um, of them all. And the support. Okay, lovely. So you like the camaraderie. Look at you, you're such, you're such an artist sometimes. It's like everyone being all nice and together. Um, I want to just quickly say, my highlight, I have to big up, Bile Dev and Rupam Banaria, because they sang Titlia a few weeks ago. And that song itself changed this house. It changed my home, it changed the Sandu home. These four walls became very different because everybody was singing it. My nine-year-old singing it badly. I'm, I'm saying not badly, he doesn't really understand Hindi or Punjabi or, or Urdu or anything. So he's just making the noises that sound like the words to Titlia. And then we're watching the video on the screen as well. So that, just watching that one song on IPML then made me find the video to it, keep playing it. It's on in the school run. And that all comes from this one little TV show. And now, you know, my kids are singing Desi songs around the house, which is, which is lovely. So that song as well. That's Wait, Tommy, does that mean you're going to be able to do an Instagram reel with a dance? Because I'm expecting that now. In Instagram reel. Yeah. Rather, I'm taking a show on tour. We're going across hey, the UK. You better, you better embed that song. I want to see some dance moves come out. Oh, now that you've got we're... the words. <laughs> Without and a you've doubt. Got two, you've got two backup dancers as well, your boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you meant you and Archana. I thought you were no, gonna. Definitely not. <laughs> we're just no. gonna watch you. <laughs> yeah, because you're like, you. I, you're like, I don't do backup, honey. I'm the main deal. Do you know what I mean? I don't do <laughs> behind <laughs> Tommy Sandu. I'm in front of Tommy Sandu. All right, get it clear. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, okay, let's look forward to the the big final then. Oh, by the way, I should mention this right now. Uh, anyone who's missed these episodes that we're talking about. Repeats are being run throughout the week on ZTV. You can catch them throughout the day, uh, in the daytime, if you want to watch it then about 11-ish. And then it's on in the evenings as well. So just look out for the repeats and just let the music into your life. That's all I'd say. Even if you just enjoy it for just some of the performances, um, you will, you'll be blown away. Just turn the volume up and just have a live concert in your home. So that's happening. But the final of this series is happening on the 18th of July, that's her. only a few days away. What are we now, six days away? Ah, uh, rockers. So some people want Gujarat rockers, some people's teams are out, like Dilly, some people might want Punjab, or what's it, what we've got now, we've got Punjab, Bengal, oh. um, good, uh, Gujarat, and Mumbai. Who, who's, who's the fourth team? Mumbai. Mumbai, there we go, well done, Mumbai. Okay, okay. Uh, and there is. No, so I'm not hedging it. my bets with Mumbai, I'm still team Bengal. If I have to Bengal. pick one, then I'll pick team Oh, Bengal. she picked one. There you go. <laughs> she's put she's put it she's back she's backing her sean horse there right there a big sean, sean. is there sean and <laughs> miss me both as well right like we've got that yeah like that. Well, well all will be revealed this weekend guys so but i just want to say a massive thank you to you too and also to to all of our influencers that have come on to talk about the show uh, do check it out ztv this weekend 
It's IPML, the Indian Pro Music League, the final. Uh, yeah. And join us and the rest of the nation as we do the same. It's the Indian Pro Music League final, and it's this weekend. Cheers, guys. I'll see you next Yay! time. Later. Thank you. Bye.